to the new point that is the understand and identify the data once you have a firm understanding of the problem requirements and receive approval for the plan you can start to build a machine learning model which is right or wrong this doesn't mean you have the data intended to create the machine learning model so here we can know that the desired result or undesired result may both occur while training the model sets so the machine learning model is built by learning and generalizing form training data then applying that acquired knowledge to new data sets it has never seen before to make a prediction and fulfill its purpose so the lack of data will prevent you from building the model and access to data isn't enough useful data needs to be clean in a good shape identify your data needs and determine whether the data is in proper shape for the machine learning projects the focus should be on data identification initial condition requirements quality identifications insight and potentially interesting aspects that are worth further investigations so this is the generalized terms of the understand and identify data where we required to create a data models and understanding the uh, the data types of the various data sets so the the key questions to be key questions to answers included where where are the sources of the of the data that's needed to be training the models means where that source of the data needed in the training of model can be put it what quantity of data is needed for the machine learning project means how much amount of data is need for machine learning project what is current quantity and quality of the training data right now what is the amount of the data we have and the quality of the training data we have how are the test set data and training set data being split so whatever the testing we have done in machine learnings and the training sets data being splitted that is how many number times of splitting is required for supervised learning task is there a way to label the data again means supervised learning can we fix that particular data into decision node making criteria so where are the operational and training data located that we have to location to find out the operational and training data sets can pre trained models be used means can we use the types of uh, uh, algorithms or structures to identify its the data types are these special needs for accessing real time data on the edge of device or in the more difficult to each to reach places means real time data the how much time it will reach to places for the real time data if it is large amount of data so it will require lot of computers so it will possesses more iteration it will required more times so if i put one here and it will reach after 10 minutes to over there so there is no use no so i press one here so within few seconds it reaches to 0.2 so answer this important questions helps to give you handle on the quantity and the quality of data as well understand the type of the data that's the needed to make a model works hmm. now the data consideration for machine learning projects so here we can see there are three columns that is the source training data data structure types and data locations the source training data consisting of the images videos emails documents pdfs spreadsheets text content voice and audio etc etc this is the source of the training data this is the source of the data we are collecting the data sets okay now to organize this we required the data structure types how will we organize this so data st- structured data curable with well defined scheme schematics 
first thing the unstructured data no well defined schematics not curable semi structured data limited structure and curable curability so this is the data patterns can be assigned and the last one is a data location how we will know which data store and which addresses that we have to identify it. so the data location play much more important roles so the first one is the data location on premises databases data warehouses data lakes cloud sources edge devices hybrid sensors or iot so these are the data locations so this is generally how data consideration is used for machine learning projects now come to the next one the parameters effects machine force and tool condition using cause and effect diagram here we can see there is side effect chip clogging tool deflection cause will affect the machine learning and the machine learning will also emphasize vibrations stress strain temperature actuator energy acoustic emissions tool tip bendings chatters effects this is the cause of tool wear and tool breakages this whole parameters affect on machining force so the identification and authentication of tool in vibration in milling machine which is based on when sensor placed near to tool spindle when sensor placed to near to workpiece these are the cause and effects which of this method would identify the correct tool vibrations can we guess that so this is how understanding and identifying data in which uh, the big data oriented smart tool condition monitoring system is given the first one we can see the time characteristics data time versus force is given and that is sent to data analysis is using the blue left arrow the data analysis is in set of lot of data analysis in set and the data analysis has been founded into singularized or in be bunch this one blue one and that later on it can be characterized or filtered or sort using binary tree decision tree or various types of searches later on the parameter optimization is occurred using standard cnc machining tools and later on the force vibration acoustic emissions or the parameters is measured so the data acquisition chip is used to found the data transmission mt connect and it is again the data transmission M mt connect is forwarded to the characteristic data so these processes keep going and going unless until we required the what kind of results so with the help of this we can see in here the force vibration temperature 2d image 3d point cloud processing data is heterogeneous data preprocessing and feature extraction that is connected to cnc machining process monitoring which may be features have online tool condition monitoring and the offline processing learning physical model and the tool state is also connected to the breakage wear rule wear compensation and this is again connected to the wear compensation is connected to the compensation strategy again sent to cnc process adaptation and the force wears is sent to model simulation and the model simulation is process for the offline process learning physical model and this again sent to tool state that is online tool condition monitoring data model so this is a just generalized flow chart how 
the big data oriented smart tool condition monitoring system works